here. Not your teddy. You're so cute. And then there's another cute. Is that your teddy? Is that yours? Is it hers? Oh, what about me and my teddy? That your teddy? What are you hugging your teddy? Oh, I'm very tired. You gonna rest your head? Did you say that yet? No, this is good for me, man. You gonna rest your head? Rest your head. Oh, I'll keep yawning. Oh, this is so cute. How can I rest my head when the camera's out? I know. Yeah. I think this is the first time we've picked up the camera, isn't it? I think so. Sorry, guys. I've not been too well. I've had a really bad migraine. Um, had to take two injections for it. Um, hopefully, the injections have worked. Started yesterday, but when I woke up this morning, it was horrendous. I couldn't lift my head or anything. It was just pulsating. It's just so bad. Um, but at 7 o'clock tonight, it's the wave of light for angel babies. And we've got um, Chinese lanterns. We've drawn a row on them, and we're about to go up to a high green area. We were... <laughs> It was to go up there to light them, but we've just got in the car and it's starting to rain. Rain doesn't work well with just biodegradable paper lanterns and fire. Um, we've got the girls with us though, because um, there's a massive green area up there. And Dixie used to love going there all the time when we used to go walk her. Um, Alba's only been there once though, and I never saw that. So, this is going to be my first time seeing Alba up this area. So we'll try and capture that for you. We'll capture the dogs, if nothing else. See you in a bit. Wait. Alba's still attached and she's trying to get out. You are still attached. She's an asshole. There's some kids in the park area, and they've got to walk past a sign that says... No dogs, which is pretty large, at least A3. It's bigger than A3, and they've taken the dog in there. Well, they're out. Yep. Daisy recognises where she is. We're not going to be able to do the Chinese planning today because it's, it's too wet. <laughs> Every time I say Chinese, so wants to eat a Chinese. <laughs> I like that they've got a little table tennis thing there.
the last day of baby loss awareness week we are joining in with the wave of light and it takes place at seven o'clock and we're going to be trying to light up the world and social media and everyone's families in remembrance of all the babies that's lost so our candle in the back is a little girl called Raylan um she was a 22 weeker and I met her mum on um, Instagram and she had a twin sister. Her twin sister is still here but unfortunately Raylan gained her wings. Um, that was a year ago actually on the 9th. Um, so yeah that candle we had made for um, the day of her funeral last year. And now we light it on special occasions. And then we have one and two candles for Sky and River, which are our babies. And then we've got this little silhouetted one. It's got like a candle inside. And that's for all the babies in the world that have gained their wings. So pretty. Oh, sorry, if I'm whittering on, love you too, Susie. I hope I'm doing them proud, even though I'm whittering on about absolutely bubbles. So we've got Tess Doyle, Owen Mark McDade, Destiny Fetis, Thomas George Farrell, Mila, Keldy. Rouse it. I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing these wrong. Um, Baby Yule. I'm so sorry about the quality of the light. Jensen Brown. Harley Brown. Kevin Parks. Leighton Steen. Isla and George King. Patrick Henry. And then every baby here for moments. Every baby born too soon. Every baby born silently. And every baby we only got to hold for a while. Ah, here they are, beautiful. I don't know if Kayla Forbes. Piper Anderson. Kayla McMullen. Sky. Hopper Day Williams. And I can see Sky and River's mummy is watching. Charlie. And River Hockaday Williams. Henry James Crutchley. Finley Ray Crutchley. 
Harvey Thomas Crutchley, Amy Miller, Lily Stockbridge, Gracie Stockbridge, Bubba Stockbridge, Sid Stockbridge, so many, George Stockbridge, Hope Stockbridge, Izzy Stockbridge, Violet Rose Stockbridge, Eden Jenkins, Aurora Page. Alex Adam, is it Hod Hodgkinson? I'm so sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Mason Jamie Mark Clark, Ellie May, Sarah Beckett. Hi, fur baby of Alba and Dixie and so. Charmaine Kane. What? <laughs> what you doing? What you doing? She caught me on camera. <laughs> oh, is this safe? <laughs> oh, what about here? Holy crap! Didn't do anything. Oh, I just, I just want this part. Yeah, this one right here. Can I get it? Oh, did they see me? Oh, and I get a drink. Free drink. Oh, what do I do with this? I'm not, don't normally get a drink as well. I'll just look around it. Lick, 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 lick. Hmm, can I get this thing out? And just lick at the other end. Lick, lick, lick. lick. Oh, it's rattling. Oh, it's moving, it's moving. Is it going to come out? Have I got this? Lick, lick. Oh, I stood it up. It's <laughs> coming <laughs> through the Lick, 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 lick. Hmm. Yes, this is quite nice. Oh, I meant to put my foot in it. Oh, you can't see me. The can's covering my face. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, got that can out. Yep. Good evening. Oh. Awkward. Bit of a uh, tablet powder there. Um. Just as we are leaving. Okay. <laughs> A shit ton of um, emergency vehicles just went up the A road. Oh no. Like literally about four of them. I caught them just as they were going around the bend, but um, there so could have been more before boat. that. Like they are going up north. Oh. That's not good. It's a bit shitty. If um, I don't know if you've seen it in when you've watched over the vlogs, but when we're doing the evening vlog, I constantly keep looking like that. It's because I keep looking at the A road because if like a vehicle comes around at night, it gets really really bright. Yeah. If there's nobody else on the road, and it just it's catches my eye. It's really far away. It's not that far. Well, yeah, but like what I mean is like it's not like right outside and it like... Oh, like no. No, 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 no. Like, it's close, but it's...
from here to there, like as the crow flies, I would probably say it was about two miles away. So it's it's close, but you can't see it in the day, can you? Not really, right. not massively, unless it's a clear day. You, you can. It, if it's can. a cloudy day, you can't. No, you can if you know what you're looking for. Yeah. And where you're looking. Anyway, back to the vlog. <laughs> and I just realised that whole time I wasn't even in it, was I? A little bit, tiny bit. Oh well. Um, we, um, as we were leaving the park with the girls, the sun started coming out, didn't it? Yeah. But we figured that it was still a little bit drizzly, so we decided that we'll see tomorrow whether it's good enough weather to send yeah. up the Chinese lanterns. But I've just opened... Um, Chinese. Every time I say it, Seth just wants to eat a Chinese. I'm not being funny, but we haven't had a Chinese in bloody ages. We haven't. And every time we have one, we're like, oh my god, that was the best thing ever. Yep. Oh well. Yeah. As we, as I got upstairs, I um checked my emails. I normally check them like multiple times throughout the day. I'm a bit obsessed with it. I don't get anything good through them, but today I didn't check it at all. And um, mainly because of the migraine this morning. And then we went straight out with the girls, and then I got stuck into five D diamond in again. Um. Yeah. And then you were playing the PlayStation, and I was sat on my phone. And that was it. Mm -hmm. Um, the wheelchair people have just told me they're coming out tomorrow to fix my wheelchair. And so it's just like, we don't have anything on the wheel. And I was like, oh, no. So, um, let's hope not. I've got to have the wheels fixed, the armrest fixed, and the seatbelt fixed. The seatbelt has been broke for... Did you tell them about the seatbelt? Yeah. Yeah, good. That's why it's there fixing it. Well, yeah. I didn't know if you told them or whether it was just a case of they were going to get here and be like, oh, your seatbelt's broken, and you were going to be like, oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? I don't even know where the other half is of it. No, I don't know either. It's been broke for... Almost as long as you've had it. Probably about two years at least. Um, I used to have... Like, I'd pull the seatbelt and wear it, but I'd put one of the girls' leads through it because... My arms can't cope, like, for a full-on walk. Um, and on one occasion, I think it was Dixie, wasn't it, I had? Yeah. She pulled so much, she snapped my seatbelt. Which was a little bit concerning, because that's obviously my seatbelt. And a dog broke it. So maybe it needed fixing anyway. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, it's not very safe. It's not like the seatbelt should not have broken. No. Um, so, yeah, they're going to come out and fix that tomorrow. And then we've got to wait for paperwork to go through and be submitted so that I can have my new electronic foot plates. Yay! This has been stuff we've been saying and saying and saying that we need to do for... Is that you? <laughs> and we're just like, oh, we'll do it tomorrow. We'll do it tomorrow. And it's just constantly happening. But I did it last week. I contacted them, and so it's been done. And when we were at the park, someone was parked in a disabled bay again. And it was, oh, it's just really cheesing us off. Just because our car is a beast. And we have no choice but to park in a disabled bay. Not just because of my safety backing out of a car, like in my chair. Um, but for safe dealing with the ramp. And just for the sheer fact of we don't fit in a normal bay. And there's this person who, what was it, a Mini or a yeah, BMW definitely. or something, <laughs> at the leisure centre, she didn't want to park in the normal car it park. Was then, wasn't it? Oh, I don't know. They didn't want to park, like, in the car park, a little walk down the hill, so she parks in the disabled spot outside the front door, basically, which, one, is super lazy, and you're going to a leisure centre, so surely that little hill shouldn't really matter, and two... It's just bloody annoying when people park there. And yet if we we abuse the disabled badge, we can be fined a thousand pound, I think it is. I can't remember now. I might even be increased because I've had my badge, what, oh. five years now. 
So it might have even increased. And it's illegal to park in a disabled bay. But unless there's a traffic warden, there's no way of people getting that fine. So we decided to take a picture of the car today in the bay and a picture of the dash showing that there's no badge. And um, I've sent it to the traffic people in Cornwall. Just because it's really, really, really cheesing us off. Probably find out. They'll probably come back and say it's um, private land because it's a leisure centre. It's private land, so they can't do it. Like at the hospital when we had those issues with the, with the traffic warden that had a go at me for parking where I could actually park. They said they couldn't do anything because it wasn't... That's it true. Was it's been sent so we can see. Because yeah. there's no point in us just going into the leisure centre, look, someone's parked in a disabled bay, because all they do is put an announcement out, get you to move it, but it doesn't teach people a lesson. They just The next time they'll just do it again, and unless they get that fine, mm. they're going to keep doing it. So, yeah, there's that. That was our... Yes. <laughs> what was it called? Angry. Good deed for the disabled people. <laughs> yeah, not so much for the, for the person whose car it was. No. They shouldn't be doing it. Not at all. Um, I'm going to put some photos in at the end of this vlog um, that our angel bears, they tagged me on Instagram of the candle with Sky and River's name on it. We've obviously you've seen the live stream that Vicky did reading the names out, but I'm gonna put the picture in at the end. And also Soph's parents. They were in separate rooms so they both lit a candle. So I'm gonna put that in the end. And I'm also gonna put the still picture of our candles lit in the end. And I think that's it. <laughs> I'm not going to put the lanterns pictures in yet because we don't want a royal, royal. It's because I've got Meghan Markle and Harry mm -hmm. in my head because I've just seen that post again of them announcing that baby on Baby Lost Day. Yeah. <sighs> um, we don't want to ruin the surprise of those if, for when we do manage to do them. Um, so yeah. It's been a bit of a crappy vlog because... I've been asleep with my migraine all day. And then so fell asleep okay. as well. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting really tired lately and I don't know why. We're doing quite a lot and mm. because the, our days are stressful anyway just because of all the medical stuff that needs doing and then the extra care of, medical care of Alba. And then obviously we take them out, but it's before we can take them out, we've got to figure out whether I'm safe enough to go out <laughs> because of oxygen and stuff. So and then there's all like the household stuff when it gets done. A lot. I did like one load of dishes today, which from most people, one load of dishes is probably... Or you have to do every day because it's probably a day. Soph just doesn't do them, I so they stack dishes. up. We need a dishwasher. No. <laughs> Why not? I'm not paying for an electricity <laughs> bill when you've got two perfectly good hands and legs. Or not? Or not? <laughs> <laughs> I was saying to Soph earlier that my tooth is hurting again. It's like getting worse and worse and I can feel it on my tongue. And then I was probably investigating it on the way out when we were taking the girls out. And you can feel, you know, the, like a tooth goes like bobbly like that. Everyone knows what a, like a molar tooth looks like, don't they? I hope so. This isn't even a molar tooth anyway, it's a wisdom tooth. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to you right now. <laughs> Um, but I can feel it, the actual indentations of that tooth, like, through my gum. You made me poke it, didn't you? And I was you just like, so if, if I have to feel it, you have to feel it. And I was like, how clean are your hands? And they were they were clean. So, um, 
I got her to stick her finger in my mouth and feel my tooth. <laughs> that is such a great sentence. As far as she knows, they were clean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the joys of a married couple. <laughs> this is so funny. Yeah. So I think on that note, we shall love you and leave you. Now you can picture So's finger in my mouth feeling my tooth. Do, 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 do. We will give you a tooth update daily. Good night.